I have this for you if you want to. Well, is it kind of ironic that you say you spend your life on the globe? Would you have a globe on your table? I'm sorry. Is it kind of ironic that you have a display of the Earth if you want as a globe, but you're trying to prove that it's not? Uh, well, I'm asking the question: Would you bet your life, your life, Earth is a globe? 100 percent. Really? Yeah. Based on what evidence? Maybe you have two two things that you can share. <laughs> That's what I'm asking. Uh, I mean, I just based off you know photos of the Earth, you can see it's like it's kind of round. In yeah. Space. Did you take those photos? Uh, no, but take it by NASA. I mean, like the whole like the base. NASA, of, like, you know who created base? NASA? Warner Van Braun, the Nazi scientist in World War II. Oh, yeah. He started you know, rocket science. That's like the truth. I actually didn't know that. That's how you know they sold a lot. Um, they would. Uh, the word NASA. The word NASA in Hebrew means deceive in Paleo Hebrew. I actually deceive. know Hebrew. Right? <laughs> this guy's fluent in Hebrew. I, 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 I don't. I, I've never heard that in my life. That's because maybe you're speaking Yiddish and you're not speaking real Hebrew. Uh, yes. go, go ahead. Why do you think you live on the globe? <laughs> He's probably speaking Yiddish, you know. Why does the guy, uh, Yiddish, why does the guy with the camera? Yiddish is a combination of Russian, Hebrew, all those uh, sort of... Why does the guy with the camera... Be honest with you, there is no such thing as Hebrew. Yeah, thanks a lot. Because Take the care. last people that's, 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 that, that translated Hebrew were the Greeks. So we have to take the Greek word for it, you know what I mean? Or I we don't have know. Take you, it, the Sephardic Hebrew, we have to take their word for it. No, we don't. We don't have to take their word for it. It is just a language. <laughs> like, I'm, not, I'm not following here. So... It's, we're, we're not going to be able to argue because we haven't prepared for anything. Right? No, that's fine. I mean, I just think because we have experience here on Earth, right? Okay, so... You ain't going to be able to argue with your elders wait, 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 you know I mean? Yeah, so... Are you also <laughs> anti-vax? I mean, I'm vaccine aware, personally, but I can't speak for anybody else. <laughs> yeah, I look, I, I know the ingredients. Laugh it off. What's your favorite ingredient? Um, but, you know, that's either here nor there. I mean, the, the point of me being out here is to share uh, Flat Earth and find out why people believe or think the way that they do and just kind of get a consensus. Gotcha, yeah, photo, well, like the photo of Earth and NASA. I mean, you say NASA was created by Nazi scientists. I have heard <laughs> some of the stuff, but I mean, actually, I'm pretty sure that you know this. They, uh, um, Nazi war prisoners were pardoned in America if they shared their findings. So, yeah. I don't think that, um, obviously not some awful people. Alright, hold on, hold on, hold on. Why do you think the Earth is flat? Water lays level and flat when it's contained and at rest. Take, uh, take care, Ben. Alright, Ben. Have you heard of gravity? Well, can I explain? Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Okay, so, time. the water behind me, us, you know, is contained by the shoreline, right? So, the ocean is also contained by a shoreline because water has to be contained, otherwise it continues to flow find its level and then level off and then at rest it is is that fair enough to say yeah. okay so at what at how high do you have to be and how much water do you have to have for like that right there the globe for water to start to bend and create a sphere in outer space of which you've never seen before with your own eyes what are you saying how is like the water supposed to yeah i mean because water because water has to bend to make a ball yeah, right okay. if this is what you believe Okay, so how high do you have to be? How much water does there have to be I, I for mean, it I to do that? Don't, like, don't think that's relevant. Does it does. It is relevant. Also, hold on. So you're saying if, you're saying that only personal knowledge exists. If you haven't seen something, so have, have you ever been to India? Yeah, I've heard this narrative before. This isn't my first rodeo. So that's. Let me finish, please. I like rodeos. Have a, <laughs> I, but I know where this is going. So okay, okay. Just let them sit yeah. <laughs> okay. Have, have, you, do. have you ever been to India? No. You've never seen the Taj Mahal. Yes, I have. Well, okay, okay but pictures, yeah, right? pictures. Yep, through pictures. It doesn't yeah. exist then, right? Uh, your logic. What's pretty? What's more plausible, landing on the moon because there's pictures of it, or going to the Taj Mahal? They are equally as plausible because your only evidence is they're equally as plausible. <laughs> you are yes. ridiculous. No, because How? you can go it's, to the moon. You cannot go to the moon. Yes, you can. Why can't? No, you, you? can't. Yes, you can. Where? How do you have your resources? Come in as it is. No, right now. That's not the Within question. the next right. month. Right. 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 What's more plausible in the next month? Going to the Taj Mahal or going to the moon? What's more plausible? Can you go to Taj Mahal next month? If I bought tickets, yeah, I could. We can also go to Australia. We could also go to any of these countries here. But disclaim that you want to go to Mars 
is ridiculous, and you know that. Okay, hold on. You know that. Do you believe that there's other planets besides Earth? Outer space is not real. It's scientifically impossible. Yeah, I don't believe. Like mock and that mocking and ridiculing, my man, isn't going to help you. You're laughing while you're telling your friend. I believe. I think differently than you do. That's very immature. It's a very immature. It's very immature. Science isn't a god, my man. I believe in God. Here, Good for you. In the Quran, it says that he laid it out like a carpet. I don't think there's anything like a uh, No, it's not. It literally says that verbatim. It says it verbatim. How are you going to tell me? I read it. Because it has to do with flat earth. Okay, if it has to do with flat earth, I've already most likely read it. Okay, unless it's come up in the last six months. I'm aware, my man. I've been into this for five years. Okay, and it looks like you might still be in public school. So it's very challenging for you to hear somebody go against your organization. It is. The the world structure of your... You still believe in this. They still teach this. They are going to teach you, the public tax-paying civilians, the opposite of what is true. I don't think that translates all flat earth, but I mean, I think you can make the statement, um, like, I think it's How do you know? Flat earth has always been around, man. Yeah, it has been. It's the most talked about conversation when you really want to have an intellectual conversation about reality. Flat earth and globe earth are it. I know it's not real. It's scientifically impossible. Can can you can we be patient and listen? Then where do you think the astronauts the astronauts are going when they I don't have to believe the astronauts, man. If you want to believe them, that's up to you. It's a movie set, and it's been broken down numerous times. They have green screens, augmented reality. And harnesses. I mean, it's so simple to fool people. Yes, you should. You should have a serious uh, caution about what is presented to you by the media and the government. Oh, yep. Why would I have that? I believe in the word it, uh, COVID because be it's real. It could be called but uh, COVID is not uh, real. Why are, uh, I mean, it's just like anything else. I think the definition of okay, so people die all the time, man. What is, what, is, what is the would Jesus wear a mask thing? Like, like, is that a whole other like, 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 uh, Well, today's Easter. Oh sure, yeah, but I mean, you know, today, you didn't know today was Easter. Okay, well, that's why I made the sign. Of course not. Well, because whether because whether um, somebody believes in flat Earth or round Earth or whatever, coronavirus or COVID nineteen is happening right now, right? Okay, so most people believe COVID nineteen is happening on a globe Earth. Okay, so. Once all the non-vaxxers and the vaxxers all kind of separate and, you know, get over themselves over the next year, everybody's just going to go back to believing the earth is a ball. So we're just going to go back to the way things were with this idea and this illusion that things are okay. And it's not. I'm not with you with some of this conspiratorial stuff I know. I want to go back to his, um... I mean, why would you, why would you, why would anybody think Jesus would wear a mask? Why would anyone think that coronavirus back away? Especially when you have to touch your mask 15 times. Yeah, I mean, look at you got like a uh, little dirt around your mouth. We were just playing basketball. This is chocolate ice cream from my work. It's I mean, not dirt. just be a little more sanitary if you're gonna, you know, wear the mask. I guess. I mean, we're outside. Be a better example yeah, yeah, not, like, for everybody. About, like, you are ridiculing really people. Look, like, you're you're leading a great example by not wearing one. I am. I show my face and my smile. I think that that's what we're supposed to do. I'm totally happy to show my. Smile. I'm you should, you you should allow it. yourself to breathe. Yeah, you should. You know, I breathe you know, just fine. You you breathe. No, you can't. It's no, it's totally illogical to think that you can breathe through a cloth mask. Just, just, you will eventually pass out. Yes. Let's say this. Let's say. What about all the people who died of cancer? COVID is fake. Yeah, but like COVID is fake. Everything you guys are saying is right. I don't lose very much. I mean, I I don't I don't see why it's so hard for people to connect the dots people die 
Okay, and the people who died, 94% of all the people who allegedly died of COVID had pre-existing condition. 2.6 comorbidities. Okay, so healthy people aren't dying from COVID. You think natural disasters are weaponized? Isn't it in the name natural disasters? You think a human can make a hurricane? You, you think humans can make a hurricane? The definition of death is uh, no more pulse, pulse right? Okay, so but people die because of pneumonia. No, people die yeah, because of pneumonia. And then you can have pneumonia and but I'm saying it's pneumonia very because possible. you had HIV. So yeah, but, it's it's but typically... In a pre-existing condition, right? your body let me is hit you back with your logic. Mm -hmm. It's more plausible yeah. so this is that why the government can create hurricanes and earthquakes. Mm -hmm. So why, why haven't I gotten it? I have a uh, pre-existing condition, which is very serious. Cystic fibrosis. I've never worn a mask this whole time, so I'm sure I have. It's called luck. Uh, it's not called luck. It's just... What am I afraid of? I'm not afraid to die. Uh, that doesn't make any sense. Uh, because everybody's asymptomatic 10 years ago then, or before COVID was introduced. Even if the first landing was fake, you still could have gone there. Yeah, because your body is, you know, healthy. No, that's not how viruses work, my friend. So, in your body, you have a detoxification system. Is that fair enough to say? It's called the immune system? Okay, so if you eat garbage food for a whole year, every year at that same time, you're going to get sick. That's your body excreting all of the poisons and the food that you ate over that year. And then, uh, how come some people don't get sick and they eat healthy and they never get sick? Okay, the there you go. You just proved my point, kind of, no, I'm in a way. People who aren't healthy are more prone to get so sick. Is that fair enough to say? Yes. Okay, so uh, would it be fair enough to say that even this is lowballing? Forty percent of the country is obese. I, I, I can't. I'm not going to be able to talk stats. You. Uh, well, see, that's the thing. People don't want to talk about facts and stats. I'm even just. I'm giving. Why can't? Just general Zionism is the but then why can I do it? Why can I talk about anything? I'm not trying to prove anybody wrong. See, now you already have my intent wrong. And it's in this interpretation. Okay, what, what is your intent then? So, to inform. So basically, to me, that tells me that... To challenge thought. Like, why... I'm what? Oh, I'm spreading false information. So free speech requires facts. No, Got it. No, okay. Oh, oh, I get it. I'm misinterpreting. Uh, facts only come from the news, and what I'm saying is always false. You know Abraham, right? So your intention is to provoke thought and to help people think differently than what they're taught all the time. I mean, this guy can just say science and gravity and think that it's real and it's factual. That's the nomenclature for gravity doesn't prove that the Earth is a ball. You see things fall to the ground. Yeah, we're talking about gravity. Uh, things fall to the Earth because they weigh more than the air around them. I think you're, um, Not because I mean, there's this the, magical string the pulling things to the ground. So that if you ask me a question, you got to give me time to answer, oh, right? Vacuum, That's how you have a conversation. Oh, it really a does matter, because there's people who claim to be Jews. Have you done that before? No. All right, so when you do that yourself and stop believing other people, get back to me, okay? Cre yeah, create a 10 by 10 square foot vacuum with... That's better than 100% because it's never been created. A 100% vacuum has never been created. It can't be. Yeah, and so you can't recreate something that you've never experienced before here on Earth. 
Uh, a vacuum is a vacuum is not a natural reoccurring phenomenon that you can't use that for science. That's why personally I don't Show me a vacuum in natural earth here somewhere. Show me a vacuum where it just naturally occurs. Like a spring water. Tor is the first five books of the Bible. You know about the oh, I know all about the Talmud. Have you ever been to Colorado yeah, Springs, yeah, hot springs or something? Have you seen videos about a hot springs or anything? So there's there's hot water that bubbles up from the ground. It's just commentary. Right? Okay, so that's that's observable science and and stuff that you can naturally see a phenomenon. So show me a vacuum in space in in Earth on Earth. Okay, so there you go. So that's more hypothetical. You've never been to space, man. You can't. I'm not on their math. I know, but you've never been to space. So you You're right. I can say because you need a you need a solid barrier to have two separate pressure systems next to each other. You can't have the negative 14 tor of outer space next to our atmosphere, which is 14.6 psi, and have them coexist next to each other without the infinite vacuum of outer space creating equilibrium with our environment. Thus, we have no oxygen to breathe. Where, where that come from? What is that root called? That That's happens. logic and it's reasonable not barrier, experience. Man. There's the, the troposphere. Based the, uh, uh, it's the based off. Do you want to? Can I give you an idea? Okay. I don't need anybody to tell me this. Like, see, that's what you want. You want a prophet. You want a prophet. How is this not logical? You have a container. You have a container there, and it's holding the water in. Like, I don't understand. You can't just have. You can't remove the plastic container and then have the water flow. Because this is such a minute item. Man. And this guy right here, like, he acts like I can't hear him. No, Go like, play. I, not, I, I mean, you guys, this is way too advanced for you no, guys. I was not talking about there's you. The, there's the you know? ridicule that you were talking about earlier. Like, we were trying to ridicule you. You're talking to how, like, don't ridicule. How you're doing this. Yeah, you're, you're, just no, that's all, the, that's all you guys, that's all your generation and your type want to do. That's all, like, hey, you're just, so, hey, hey, hold I am making a generalization. If only, if over 80% of your youth act like this, I'm gonna generalize buddy, after you, having a conversation. Friend, just had a great conversation. Great, you and him did. Huh. Okay, so that's between you and him. So he's, he's what you stand for, I thought. You guys agree, he, don't you? We should have what he thinks and what he does in his own life is. In yeah. What's your point? What's up? What's your point? Uh, yeah. I mean, I would love to, uh, my point is that. Uh, well, here, very quickly. I'm so sorry. This is, You're good. This is, this is, let's take a second. I don't really care. Uh, the, um, you don't care about anything, do you? Exactly. You have a lot of stuff. Uh, you, just going back, so there are many types of knowledge, right? There's personal knowledge, knowledge that you see with your five senses. There's shared knowledge, stuff that's taken. Knowledge by consensus. There's, um, there's, what's up? Go ahead, I'm asking. You're just laughing at what I'm saying? I'm looking at that guy. You're gonna let him speak. Okay. What guy? Anyway. Pretend I'm not here. Okay. I, <laughs> I did a great job with that so I know far. it's funny. Um, Sorry, there's uh, knowledge by consensus, knowledge by authority. If you live your life only believing personal knowledge, the thing that you see, then there's nothing that you can accept that's, that's fact. You can't say that anything is real. That's what like shared knowledge is. That's why, here, have you ever um, have you ever jumped off a building? Probably not, right? Because you're alive. So how do you know that if you jump off a building, you'll die? This is your logic. This is your logic being used against you. You have no idea. Try it. That's such a weak argument. No, but you haven't argued against this guy. <laughs> hey, to be honest with you, kid, you know these guys, we're all we're all older here. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And you guys should respect that fact that we have that we do have a little more life's knowledge and experience than you guys. I, you know I, what I mean? Yeah. I, uh, uh, you guys are you guys are younger. You know what I mean? And you should respect that anything that we, that an elder is saying. You know, you know, you know what I mean? Well, back, well, back in the day. You didn't, you didn't, you didn't talk back to an elder. You don't, you don't lift off. Yeah, go to an Asian country. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Listen, when, I, when I was a kid, it's not talking no, back listen, when, I, when I was a kid, a when I was a kid, an elder, any elder would whip your ass. And ain't nothing could be done about same it. Same with me in my house. The law wouldn't be done, nothing would no, be done same, about it. Same with me in my house, but I didn't you know live mean? here all my so life. So if a 90-year-old person came over and <laughs> said, space exists, space, like, bro, would you believe him because he's old? I, isn't, isn't <laughs> no, the point I ain't saying it. You have to believe everything a motherfucking elder saying, but respect an elder. You don't want to listen. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. You come over and disrespect an elder. Like I said, back in the day, you don't have to agree with me. Yeah, you don't. You don't have to agree with me. But, you know, I don't want to talk if it's just not going to get through. I mean, I got some information. 
information no, I can give you. You know, so you can you know check it out. No, you don't have to believe it. Okay, but you should look into other alternative forms that. Bro, are opposite of mainstream media. Bro, why does it matter, though? Oh, yeah, because it's but, uh, where we come from, man. As human beings. White, black, Asian, Mexican, it doesn't matter. We all live on this earth. And if you're told you live somewhere that you don't, you might as well be told you're adopted. So, okay, and then how do, you know, it depends upon a person's situation of how much information and how much love they have for their family and they find out they're adopted. Not everybody thinks it's a big deal. I thought it was a big deal to be lied to about where I live. And so I'm going to be out here. If you guys got an idea for a better table, shack it up right here. But I'll bet you that you guys don't have anything you want to talk about. You guys go along with all the narratives that go along with everybody else. And there isn't anything. Will you be here tomorrow? I might. Or I might be over at Harriet, like Harriet. If you're here tomorrow, I'm sending my own booth. Whatever. Yeah. Why do you need me to be? I did. I started doing this by myself with nobody coming here. I had 10 people watching my YouTube channel. You, uh, you, uh, could you from my response to my earlier question, how do you know that you'll die if you jump on a building? It's just, I'm not even going to humor that question. <laughs> he wants that question answered still. Like, honestly. Yeah. But how? Seriously. I mean, you're a joke, That is your logic. Based on your that is your logic. logic. I, you, you, anything else you guys want? I mean, I appreciate you guys stopping. <laughs> but, I mean, yeah, 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 go play ball. Go play ball. It's, it's, once you guys, you guys, you guys will get there one day, you'll start actually questioning, and then you'll know where we're coming from. I think you should do your own research, separate from each other. You know? I'm, I'm asking a question. So, like, you're, you you do your own research, right? I do. And that's okay. where you draw your logic. I'm asking. I'm asking. Yeah. That's where you draw your logic from. And with experience. With experience. Mm -hmm. And being here for 40 years. What experience are you talking about? Uh, well, I've been here for 40 years. I lived in Southeast Asia, Thailand, for a year, and taught English. So I've been over to another country. I'm pretty sure most of the people that walk around this lake have never even left Minnesota. So what? I don't, I don't what does know that mean? That. Uh, it means that people think because the way that they think, it, because they haven't left and got another experience. All the experience most people get is on TV, video games, the news, and what they have around their locale. That's it. So, so you think that people get their... Do you think I believe in space because I've played video games and watched the news? Uh, there's a lot of really cool video games that have space concepts to them. So yeah, yeah. I used to do the same thing. I'm not better than you, man. I used to think the same okay, way you did five years ago. Space really means, oh, those means it's subatomic particles. There's so space between me and him and you guys. Yeah. There's, there's no, space there's is just no a names. general name for the there's area. No names for yeah. Subatomic particles, right? That's, no not, it's, subatomic it's not a label. It's yeah, just a name. That's what space means, basically. Bro. So between it's us... I mean, I do, but I also have all the information yeah. I had before, and I compare the two. Where are you like? Where are you like? Where are your like, 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 you like, 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 I mean, I don't know, man. I just find things. Where do you find these? Like, where, where's the credibility of any of this? <laughs> you can ask the same thing about my stuff, right? You don't see what I'm saying because I'm not I know, but, but, but where, like, your friend with the stripe, your friend with the stripe, the stripe shirt said the same thing. He kept deferring to where's, who do you or where do you go to get your information? As if to say, I'm not intelligent or smart enough to come up with these own concepts and narratives myself. It was a question. I know it was, but I'm I'm giving you that answer. I don't go out. Uh, there isn't a specific rabbit hole or whatever that I can give you that's going to give you the holy grail of everything. It's going to take you. It could take you 10 to 15 years to get out of your thing that you're in right now. And no offense, grow up. Okay, because when I was your age too, I might be doing the same thing. Uh, I don't know what yeah. you want to guess, Sorry, man. Yeah. yeah. No, yeah. Not seriously. Well, then throw out a lot of it. It's like you're 18 or 19. Yeah. How the hell yeah. are you 18? So, I mean, you could pass for 21, 22. I mean, you can always. Like, you know? It's not really relative so, to But, I mean, I'm 40 and I and I look 25. Yeah. You know? Uh, hey, so, so, I'm just saying, like, I, for me, what I started to do in the last couple of years particularly 
is I stop deferring to other people and listening to, oh, what does this person say or what does this expert say? Go with you what you 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 feel is right in your heart. Don't ever fucking do that. You know what I mean? On like of course a new type of a new like idea of yeah. you consider like flat earth like a science or like what field of study or like flat earth is the definition of science because what it is is it's observing something. I tried to hear your idea. Okay. Gump coming up with a hypothesis, testing it, and then sharing it with other people because we can all do these experiments here on Earth. The point, the point of doing a quote experiment is to, yeah, take care, guys. I'll be around. <laughs> Don't live in fear to rescue your life, kid. <laughs> so much fun. Just an obedient slave class. Yeah, they're just ready for yeah. it. You know, live in fear the rest of his life. Just, uh, just a joke of uh, resistance. Right. Yeah, they really are uh, real passive people. A real passive people. <laughs> they have no clue what was going on. <laughs> Some of these people be like, well, I'm, I'm this and I'm that. Well, like you're supposed to be a, a Christian or, or a fucking Jew or a fucking whatever. Yeah. It's Muslim. I'm sinking in. Why do you live in so much fear? Why are you such a coward? And they practice. You know what I mean? They practice, like, arguing. Yeah, with they people. practice just being, like, little shits. Yeah. Right. They... Because what they do, what, eventually, it'll always go to this, Josh. Okay, what, where are you getting this yeah. information? Mm -hmm. right? I wasn't really, really going really to kick their ass. I just made them think that, you know. They say, where are you getting this well, information? Well, at least they actually tell were tell already. The old days. You remember, remember the old days, right? <laughs> we didn't dare lip off to our elders, man. Right? Yeah, where are your sources? Who did you hear that from? Right. And then it goes to, and then it goes to, well, why do I have to tell you all my sources for information? Then they go, oh, gotcha. Uh -huh. Your whole argument. Yeah. They think they, won. They, they think they won. won. they think they won. That's yeah. what that idiot on the tightrope did. Yeah. What's your scientific source? Oh, if I don't have oh, a I don't source... Have I don't have to name... Uh, I see the water level in flat when at rest and contains. Uh, that's my source. <laughs> then that idiot just goes, Okay. I won. I win. <laughs> Pretty easy. Exercising our rights like real Americans. Case closed. <laughs> I win. <laughs> <laughs> they just declare victory. <laughs> and they're tight ropes. Tight asses. They watch tell lie vision. Contraption. It's like I was telling that kid about the TV. Like, Planes across the pond. I don't know why I don't watch TV. He said, why? Joy, 4118, what's up? They were destroyed. <laughs> Tommy, tell right. the truth. <laughs> and everybody else in the background, thanks a lot for stopping by. Yeah, they were just... They they want to go home and now hug their globe and just like get back to where they were before because they feel uncomfortable with that conversation that happened. They're just like, I got to go do like media stuff or, you know, feel like I'm part of this world now. Those sweet little eyes. I gotta put a get a vaccine after talking to those guys. <laughs> they gotta go reindoctrinate themselves after this. Mm -hmm. Pacific Northwest Bear. Let's go study the history book. Derp or derp. Yeah, it's finally nice out, Joy. I mean, yesterday was fantastic. It was better than today, I think. No more snow for another seven months. <laughs> what happened to all the peddlers, street peddlers? Yeah, it could be, uh, just take them a while to get out. Everybody out. And Probably be fucking peddling water right now. Yeah, I should have brought some water. I'll bring water up <laughs> tomorrow. Tomorrow's supposed to be 80 and sunny. Yeah, yeah. You could make some money fucking just sitting here peddling shit while you're fucking doing this. Yeah, but you'd, you'd get in trouble because if you're selling stuff and you don't have a permit on public property, oh, they can get, get in trouble. Peddler, peddler's license, yeah. yeah, I'll just give them the water. People hand me water and donate and give me water for the uh, money for the water, but 
I just gave it to him for free. I don't care. It's only like three dollars for a twenty-four say, pack. Suggesting you know if you wanted to make some more self-employed kind of like money, you know what I mean? Yeah. Because you like, you know, you guys are out here a lot. You might as well. Oh, I get money. I get money from donations. People are donating, so I appreciate everybody donating the lemons. I, I didn't know that I was able to get donations again on D-Line. Because they banned me uh, last year. So maybe it's a new year. Maybe they give me a clean slate. Thanks, D-Live. You're so nice. Clean slate. Uh, it's another, it's, it's the live streaming service that I'm using. Oh, you're not going to YouTube? I can. I don't have a thousand subs right now, and they won't let me stream live yet. You have to have a thousand subs to stream live. What do you mean a thousand subs? A thousand people need to subscribe to your channel before you can go live. That's crazy. Yeah. That's what you have to do now? Be live? Well, I do now. Be well, yeah, because my channel got deleted. But when I first started going live a couple of years ago, the cap was a hundred subscriptions. She needed a hundred subscribers to go live. Now they have it more because they don't want just any, you know, Tom, Dick, and Harry to go live. So they want, yeah, so they want uh, to, sense. basically it's kind of like censorship. I got anal, he's walking like he's got anal beads. No, I think he's special. special. Uh, I think he's got special needs. <coughs> so... I'm streaming on Facepalm, and then I'll just uh, take this stream from DLive and I'll upload it to my new channel that I'm going to stream live on, and then premiere it, and then try to get some more subscriptions that way, and then hopefully it'll take, it took me three years to get over 4,000 subs, and then they just vanish. But it's bound to happen. I know that people all, like uh, Jaren are privatizing their videos on YouTube. But after you get rid of those strikes and you have a clean slate, then you release your videos again for people to watch. Anonymously, somebody can come in and flag the video again and then there goes your channel. So, I mean, I really think that people hiding their videos or privatizing their videos, you know, yeah, you want to keep your legacy of your library on YouTube, but... If you really want to, you know, continue creating content, you have to let people see your stuff. And you're going to have to, I guess, be vulnerable and get them deleted. So... Like I said, they got all these damn people on YouTube. Oh, they yeah. Delete. Oh, the hell they delete you guys. You know what I mean? Yeah, they have all these, you know, groups that say negative things and, you know... Especially focus more on racism and whatnot. Sure. That's okay. Or all the trans websites or groups, and then they, you know, bash straight people. So now we know who <sighs> that main uh, slackliner guy is a total normie. Yeah. He's probably been waiting to talk to you. <laughs> yeah. And, and try and like, oh, I'm going to get him. Uh -huh. And then, because that's it. his main argument was, what's your source? Do you have any source for... And, I just said, and then you ask him what his source is. Oh, he, he said, I asked you first. Uh-huh. I'm not trying to get you on anything. Yeah. All right, well, now I know <laughs> if he and comes by. Were, well, if he asked, you can't answer. Uh. <laughs> and I was like, well, I don't need to give you a mainstream science source. It's everywhere. You hear about it on the TV. <laughs> Tommy Tell the Truth just went over 500 subs on DLive. Yeah, it takes forever because they, they throttle you, they shadow ban you, so nobody can see your channel when they search. And, you know, sometimes you're not even put on the front page of DLive. Like, you're not promoted anymore like you used to be on YouTube. Isn't this what YouTube wants as content creators instead of, like, the BS yeah. that you see on, you know, you know, everybody just standing in front of their... Uh, their cell phone, you know, because they have those circular lights that you can stand in front of and be a content creator. And you can hook your phone up to the light and they just sit in front of your phone and just, you know, stream in your home. But coming out here to the public, this is what it is. This is what it's like. You need to bring these concepts and topics off of social media to the public. It's so important right now. 
we're losing humanity and it's um, not going to be very good if you just sit around and be idle. You got to keep with the flow. You got to keep flowing with uh, what's going on. Can't be idle for too long. These people are literally possessed. Some of them. Yeah. Some of them Stuck are. in the darkness. You two just suck. Censorship on it. It's way too much shit. YouTube is the gulag now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, basically. You're just as bad as Facebook now, you know what I mean? They'll just chop your head off. Face Facebook and YouTube and all them are like the queen of hearts. You're like this guy over here. <laughs> they offer their services for free. Democrat and shit. Mm -hmm. But he believes he's the chosen seed too. <laughs> Good for him. Guess we'll find out. <clears throat> Natalie, thanks for luck. Mm -mm -mm. They got their hidey holes in New Zealand. Part of me thinks the elites that run all the social media are on lands that we don't know because. They want revenge. They because so many people want revenge against them. Well, it could be. Somebody in the chat was saying that the elites don't even live in America. They live someplace else because there's so many people who want them. Take them out. Well, they have a secret uh, place in New Zealand where they go. Oh yeah, they somebody just said that. Oh, New Zealand. Yeah, Fu Kings OC said they got their hidey holes in New Zealand. Yep, that's where they hide out. That's mm -hmm. where they gonna. Yeah, thanks, Brian. Appreciate it. I shared uh, Brian's stream with you yesterday. Did you check it out about about that Freemason? Yeah. Those Freemason lodges getting burned down. Yeah, they're blaming. In Canada. Yeah. I gotta call Mac and ask him about that and see what he thinks. I kind of heard what he had to say yesterday, and I heard everybody's thoughts in the chat a little bit because I was at a delay. I was over. At, I was hanging out with Miles, and then when I left Miles's place, I saw that you guys were all live talking about that and yeah Max says that he just flipped out that he's not an agent that he is really who he says he is um, but it is interesting that he would burn three Masonic lodges on March 30th and he has this thing about 33s he kept allegedly this Ben guy kept posting things about the number 33 and everything else on his uh, Facebook but then he's going to do it on March 30th. <laughs> yeah. When you snap, you snap. I guess it's just on 33, right? I think it was a case of like MK Ultra. Um. He was just like, saw, he saw related searches and just was like, I'm going to do this. That's what Max says. I mean, Max says he just snapped. Like, I mean, he's he basically was like, I met the guy. I know him personally. He did some activism with me for a number of times. He's a really good guy. I mean. He took it too far, though. But yeah, he um, uh, Rose Triple Seven basically summed that up. She's just like, yeah, I get that, you know. But he did take it too far. This is how I decompress. Um, this is how I deal with the current situation at hand. I don't feel like I need to hurt anybody. Rose said uh, when they were talking yesterday that you know somebody could have died. You know, somebody could have been hiding in that building. But you know. If he isn't who they that uh, you know people claim he, him to be, uh, then he could be an agent, and they all knew that those buildings were empty. Yeah. So there was no reason to worry about somebody. Kind of like a framing. Yeah. Kind of like a Sandy Hook. Mm -hmm. Cause um, I I mean I didn't really get into the article too much. I was reading the article before you came, and then some people started to show up, and I kind of tarried off on to you know some other things. And I was I was halfway through the article on the, from the Daily Beast, but um, how did he light all three of those on fire? You know what I mean? Like, did he light one, go to another one, and light one, or you know? So I haven't read into it too much, but but he kind of admitted to it himself, right? Uh, I don't, 
I think he. I don't know if he admitted it. Was was it? I heard. Wasn't he posting about it? He was posting about Freemasons, but I don't know if he admitted that he burned them down. But oh. did he? Um, I'll have to read the article. Um, the Ides of March. Yeah, and so you know, flat Earth is flat Earth. I mean. They, if they want to continually try to demonize anybody who's a flat earther, I mean, that's just ridiculous. It's not like you need to be a flat earther to burn a building down or do anything nefarious. Globe earthers do that all the time. You know, all these globe earthers here are all deranged and uh, senile also then. Flat earth doesn't make you want to go burn down stuff. Mac was trying to give him, like, some grace and say, you know, I think he just, you know, succumbed to the pressure of quarantine. It, they live in Canada, you know, so they're in Canada. It's a different situation there, you know, but it doesn't really raise, raise positive awareness. Maybe they're just preemptive striking, you know. Maybe they're just trying to make it so that, you know, uh we need to ridicule flat earthers more because they're crazy and or get rid of us. Just a distraction. Yeah, um, yeah, totally. Look over here. Don't look over here. Yeah. Situation. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I bet it does. Ho hopefully they've been out there to clean. Yeah, I, I read that part. I just cleaned I just cleaned three satanic clubhouses and nobody could do anything. Yeah, I, yeah, I did re read that. That's so, what I read. Yeah, that's what I read. What happened? Um, some guy in Canada, whom a friend of mine knows personally that I've met, uh, burnt down three Freemason lodges on March 30th. Somebody did what? In Canada, somebody burnt down three Freemason lodges on, on March 30th, so 33. Praise the Lord. Praise so, the Lord. <laughs> so I don't, I don't condone burning down, uh, buildings, but... Praise the Lord for the spirits of vengeance. I'm not going to ridicule anybody who has <laughs> those views. So, but I do think it's interesting because they labeled him as a flat earther and everything. Did they? Yeah. Oh, really? He's a flat earther, non vaxxer, and conspiracy this theorist or whatever. Because what they want to do is make, they want to use the term terrorist, domestic terrorist, for as large as a category as they can. That includes people who question the narrative, mm -hmm. anyone. Yes. Yeah, burnt them down. So they'll, they'll Need to burn them down. Yeah, Marilyn, type in, uh, but, they, but I don't want to be a domestic terrorist. Right. You know? Type in, um, it's on the Daily Beast. So, here's the, uh, be wrong, follow the world. That's right. If you want to be I wrong, am right. I am right because I follow my insight. What, what would that be? That's I believe what I want to do. Yeah. I believe whatever makes me feel good. Fair enough. So it's relative? Yeah. It's good to see you're not wearing a mask today. I do if I'm in clothes. Do you? Yeah. Why do you feel led to do that? I guess it's just so people don't look at me like I'm crazy. <laughs> really? I've never worn a mask and I don't mind that. Fair yeah. Yeah, get that right. You want to have you? Do you want to hear an interesting factoid? Interesting factoid. Yeah, a little what's the toy. Mean? Little fact. I don't know. It's just slang, you know. I don't know. Well, I want to hear an interesting fact. You want to hear an interesting fact? Um, do you happen to know the time uh, the sunset was the day George Floyd passed away? Do you happen to know what time a morning uh, the first tower was struck by an airplane on 9/11? I don't know, but I know. I, I don't know, but I know Tell my auntie uh, was there on 9/11. Uh, 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 uh. What? Tell us something we can't find out on YouTube. You, it's not on YouTube. You can. This is factual. The I'm first. Saying, tell us something that you feel. Oh, tell, tell me something that you have to watch on YouTube. Well, I mean, just let me finish. Let me finish this real quick. The first plane hit the North Tower at 8:46 a.m. So, if you put up like a 9-11 video, they'll erase oh, it. Man, they'll spit that science Just saying. But, you know, I'm out here to talk about Flat Earth, really. 
Do what you only believe the government there. I'm just saying, like, tell me something that I can't find out. I like your hair. You take that offense It's gorgeous on you. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, I mean, you got to do... Research? What's my research? Yeah, tell me that. In regards to what? In regards to what you're talking about. Like, why are you flat Earth. To him? Water lays Ain't flat. Water. Way. Yeah, water lays level and flat when contained. So how is how is Earth a ball? How is Earth, How can water bend to make a shape, like a geometric shape, like a sphere, if water lays level and flat at the surface always? You know, so have you ever, I've never been to outer space before to see Earth from space. Um, but all of the images that we get from Earth from space are all computer composite paintings. Right. They're paintings. I'm actually, that's what's on your sign. Yeah. Okay, I'm saying, what's your research to that? Oh, You're not saying no research. I did oh. say my research. My research is water. Your research is water. How yeah. is it water? Other than that, what? I heard that too, how you explain that it's flat. Yeah, we see things too far. So human beings can see things too far. Earth is flat. Outer space is not real. Earth is flat. Yeah, definitely. There's no way that you look at all the ancient knowledge too, all, all the ancients are saying it's flat. No. Yeah, it's on tape. It was windy earlier. There's no way that That's on him. This is public property though, so. Like, what was the lady saying? She was talking about that the, the yeah, world can't like, be like shaped like this because because so the way that they what have this. Twenty two. Oh, the equator. That's what she was saying. She was like, "How would the equator be south mm -hmm. of everything? Why would it be south? What if this was the center right here, right, of the hey, world? Hey, hey, what they talking about this today, though? Equator, hey, 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 right? hey, hey. Yeah, the equator is bullshit. How is this the equator? Mm -hmm. You're telling me it's the What's equator the and it splits no the world in half? Impossible. <laughs> right? Behind the I don't behind think this is yeah, real, so I mean, right. that's, that's, not, that, right? that's, the world is, that's not the world, the world is flat. That's why, that's why it's impossible. Our research is based on... If it's not uh, real, it's impossible. impossible. There's no way the world's like this. Usually. No. No, it's what? ridiculous. How? It's so clunky, it doesn't Where's even... Where's the water at? Yeah. Floating around? Right. No, the water's flat. Lays level, flat. At rest. It's yeah. common sense on your own insight. You yeah, be, you yeah man, have, but man. You gotta have no, beyond insight. They don't even know what we already laced, The man. way this fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? We don't appreciate the government. You're good? Who, who, who do you think? Me. Yeah, right on. Who do you yeah. think the government? I don't celebrate these holidays or that stuff. I already know. I make pastors mad when I talk because I got questions. Yeah. You yeah, know, about their book, about uh -huh. the book. I got questions, man. Yeah, you know, Are they, mm -hmm. even about should. this thing. People should ask questions. Well, you know, you know, you guys got good ones to tell me about this, right? Yep. Ain't this the day that I don't know if you guys are Christian yet, but my personal thing is like. You should look up imperialism. If he rose right on the third day, right? Ain't this the third day that he rose, right? Mm -hmm. What What happened first for him? to be unconscious. He was put on the cross. Right, he was he put on the cross, right? They were stoning him, whooping him, right? But he whooped him all the way into a coma. So when they whooped him, they thought he was dead because he was put into a coma and he woke up in that motherfucker three days later. Like, motherfucker, they was like, oh, man, he was whooped into a coma. You whooped him to death. He woke back up, yeah. Resurrection, yeah. the term resurrection, it's almost like resuscitation. Yeah, but just think about it. Now they even got documents, so-called document people, you know, died and came mm. back. So why ain't they just? Mm. That's hey, did you know that back in like the 17 or 1800s? Why ain't they Jesus? Did you know that in the 17? He reincarnated, man. Man, I was the only one, man. Did you know that in the 1800s or so, uh, people they would uh, put a bell in the grave? Of where they're being yeah, buried, so they can so they could ring it. Yeah, because they're they sticking were... like, people who are still alive in the grave. Yeah, right. right. See, I know. <laughs> Come on, man. See, we learned. Yeah. 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 yeah, man. Well, I know all that. They want to pretend we're everyone's we're just, buried. We're just out here exercising our rights. Man, that's, you know what that's what I'm talking so, about. Cool. I like that, man. We're that's cool. Exercising our rights. We earthly, man. Keep moving. Yeah, appreciate you. I'll see you around. I'll be around. I'll see you around.
Yeah. I'm like this. Like, you see me around. <laughs> we, we all we all need to be exercising our rights instead of living in fear. You know what I'm saying? Look, you don't see me in fear of nothing, man. No, all right. Well, don't ever wear a mask. Earth, man. Earth, my turf, man. Make the earth your turf, not That's Minnesota. That's right. That's man. what I feel. Get it, man. Make the earth your turf, man. Mother Earth. Know that, man. Red Mother Earth. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. If you really want to talk about it, man, there's two leaves, man. You got marijuana leaf and coconut leaf. <laughs> you know, those are the good and the evil, man. Yeah. Keep it real. Man. You too, man. That's shit, man. It's yeah. medicine, man. Two leaves. Necessarily, because cocaine has been used as, as indigenous medicine. Man, okay. man, man. Not cocaine, know, but the leaf. The, the, the leaf is used as tea. I don't, I, and and I, can't, I can't even campaign uh, Natalie, I'm in Minneapolis. Minneapolis, Minnesota. Minneapolis. Here we are. Yeah, man, we straight up here in Minneapolis, man, man. We got the flat earth, man. Minneapolis, <laughs> Minnesota, man. They out here campaigning, they say, they said the world ain't round, man, it's flat. It's flat. It's flat. Like a pancake. It's flat as a pancake. <laughs> flat like your old lady. It's flat as a pancake. <laughs> flat as a white woman's yeah, butt. I don't know nothing about that. Hey, 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 Turn your camera to some raw shit like that, homie. <laughs> About eighty thousand. Once y'all put your camera on about eighty thousand in the car right there, maybe. Oh yeah. You know what I mean? Quit playing. Yeah. Yeah. Some nice rides right here. Yeah. yeah. West Coast. West Coast Customs. All right. That's Sacrament. He got the Sacrament this morning. Yeah, the, you go, you, soon you're going to see trick man. <laughs> Everywhere. All right, so we're almost shutting the place down. We've been out here for five hours. So I'll have to... Uh, have to get ready to leave here. My uh, device is... Yeah. Hey. I've been here for five hours, man. Five hours. Five hours. You loyal, man, to the soil, man. Yeah. Because the earth is flat. That's like right. The, what did you say? Like the white girl's back. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, <laughs> man. <laughs> Check that out. Watch out, homie. The earth is flat. I think man. you need to watch out, homie. You need to watch out. You got to act like it ain't no well, parts out here. I'm going to go smoke some more weed and get high because that's what life's all about. That's hey, man, we on camera, man. Gotta, Look. You got to quarantine. Hey, homie, to, right? Hey, homie trying to get us on camera, man. Look at yeah. him. He love that shit. He love that shit. You got any shout outs? Man, you got shout outs? Yeah, I, I got some shout outs, man. Yeah, do it. To all the people that are incarcerated, that are innocent, I pray for your freedom. Yes, man. We for all the man. people that are going through some type of iniquity or addiction with drugs, I pray that you overcome your hey, iniquity and you hey, become successful in your life. Oh, because the people that are down and out, and raise above are the best people to have in your corner because they know what it's like to be down at the bottom. They appreciate it when they're at the top. Mm. Appreciate like it. Become, hey, like y'all, man. Again. Another thing, man. Pick up the trash, y'all. Yeah, man. Pick up Pick these up masks. The trash, man. Pick up these masks. Yeah, not only that, man. Be careful of the needles, man. Let train officials pick them up. But pick up the trash around them, man. For real, man. For real. Love your community, man. Treat your community yep. like you do your front Act yard as if. or something, man. Act as if it's your real, place. Man. You know, talk about, like my buddy said, man, give your love back to the uh, community, man. You I'm trying to get back. Community, man. You got you to gotta give back, man. Ain't no big eyes and little youths here, man. Nope. And you shouldn't be like that out here. We all equal, man. Get the signs, man. Get the signs. Appreciate it. Right, Appreciate you. Later. All right, and on that note, can't do any better than that ending. That's all I gotta say, so.